Well, it's the first uh, Bearded Honey Badgers overland trip, testing our new rooftop tent. Let's see where we go. Got most of the errands done. Got everything I need, I think. Just gonna grab a quick bite of breakfast here at Tim Hortons, and uh, then we're gonna head out past Souk, heading for Jordan River. So, uh, I'll see you once we get out that far. There's our first uh, little adventure. Heading out to Langford, heading towards Souk, and the uh, portion of the road is closed before Kangaroo Road due to the forest fire that's still going on there. So we're gonna take a bit of a detour, and we're gonna go through uh, part of Langford, and then go through East Souk Park, out Gillespie Road. So, uh, Let's see where that leads us. See if we can get our way all the way out past Souk today. Well, here we are, back on Souk Road, heading towards Souk, past the fire. Can't believe that thing's still burning, but uh, hopefully I don't have any other slowdowns because that added an extra probably 15 minutes to the drive. So next stop will be uh, Souk. Well, here we are, south of Souk, heading towards Jordan River, and uh, the skies have opened up, and it is pouring. So it's 15 degrees out, and wet, and the weather says it's supposed to be 18 degrees and partly cloudy. So, let's uh, keep heading uh, south and see what we end up with when we get to Jordan River. Well, here we are, approaching the corner of the Jordan River. Come around the corner. Nice sign. Absolutely no fires. Well, hopefully this rain does something positive and helps put the fire, forest fire out. But uh, kind of hoping that it stops raining in the next few minutes here, so that uh, I don't have to set this tent up in the rain. I know it says it's supposed to be uh, wetted down and then dried to tighten up the canvas the first time you use it. But uh, I figured I'd be doing that with a hose not with rain. But uh, either way, this gives me a chance to try it out and see how it is in some rain. And yeah, uh, here's our exit. Let's see if we can find a site. Looks pretty busy. sites mostly. 21 is filled. Let's see if 22 is occupied. Yep, 22 is occupied. 21 is occupied. Well, I guess if I'm gonna stay, it's number five or one of these ones here. Bathrooms. Oh, there's signs that say no camping. Interesting. Those ones look like they're all booked up somehow. Uh, let me actually we'll park here. And we'll take a look at these signs. sign does not say no camping, it says wet paint. So I guess this is a freshly painted uh, table. So over there is where I would prefer to camp, that's for me and Carrie camp usually. But uh, I think this will have to be a nice test spot. So we're in site 18 and uh, I guess I'll start uh, 
setting up the uh, tent. First I'll go grab an envelope and uh, put my $15 for the night in the uh, envelope and then uh, we'll go from there. So uh, see you once we're back from that. So we're all set up now. You can see our campsite. Got the mat out, got the awning. Got it all pegged out, got some little solar lights, so no one trips over them. Got the uh, LED light here, a little LED light strip. Got three of them with the kit. One for there, one for inside the uh, back of the car for the kitchen. So we're gonna probably put that one here. But wait for Carrie's input for that decision, see where that goes. So, uh, like before, slide up for the fridge. We got a drawer. And we got a cutting board and the stove. So uh, I'll be cooking on that later tonight. We'll see how that goes. There's the other uh, line running up into the tent. Give us some light at night. Got the storm windows here. And we've got the uh, annex room. So you can see it was raining. And the rain's stopped. There's still a little bit of water on it. So you got the door here. This comes with a screen and a storm flap. And then we've got the clear to allow light in. And we got the floor. So it's a rubberized floor, bathtub floor. Got an organizer hanging there. And we got the ladder. I'm kick my shoes off. So we got uh, two windows, one on each side. And then door access to the vehicle. So that just simply unzips. And then you have full access to the car without having to go outside. So in here is the uh, tent. So you can see that all the zippers are good quality. There's a nice little grab handle here to help you get up into the tent. And we have uh, there's the LED light. And we have the two skylights and two windows on the other side and then the two windows on the other end. So there's lots of room up here for uh, two adults, maybe even two adults and a small child. And then uh, down below here, even behind the ladder, you can see there's still tons of space in here. So uh, putting a cot or a double stacking cot in there and there's still be room for, you know, bags and shoes and all sorts of other gear. So I'm going to zip this up and we'll go around the other side. All the fabric here is super heavy duty canvas. Stitches are all seam sealed and double stitched. So out here, You'll notice that uh, there's lots of points around here to stick it down. There's tie down points here. Haven't used those. It's not very windy right now, so I don't think we'll need those. This is the outside window. The only issue we had with the tent is when we got it, for some reason, there was no grommet holes in this side. So it's uh, got the polyurethane there and the tape, but no grommets so that would normally stand out and act as a rain fly and there's another window underneath there so uh i contacted the owners of the company and i let them know and they were surprised apparently this hasn't happened before but uh they offered to uh send me something uh for my time so they also walked me through how to get a kit from the canadian tire and put the grommets in myself i might do that or i might take it to a local awning place here in town and have them put the two awnings in just so i know that they're in there properly but other than that, I'm super happy with my uh, tent buy from Wild Coast Tents. Um, it's everything they advertised and more. The quality is something that I just can't believe. So if you're interested in the rooftop tent, check it out. Wild Coast Tents. Gear up for your next adventure.